Hi, I'm Henry and I work for FHM. I'm here at a secret location somewhere in England. I can't tell you where it is for good reason because uh, today we're a guest at the charity War Child. Now, War Child is a charity with a difference. They, uh, they're committed to helping children around the world in conflict zones, war zones like Afghanistan and Iraq. To be able to do that, uh, their staff have to be trained and prepared for pretty much any situation. So this morning we've been seeing some explosives go off, IEDs, um, some incendiary bombs, and it's uh, already put me on edge. So I'm, uh, I feel my heart going, I'm pretty worried to be quite honest. This afternoon though, it's going to get a lot worse from what I've been told because we're going to experience what it's like to be taken hostage. Maybe some interrogation, it's not going to be, well, there won't be any tea and cakes, that's for sure. <laughs> Okay, we're here with Graham, who's a clinical psychologist, and Graham today has been um, looking after all his guys, uh, myself, and also all the, the people from War Child, to make sure that the well get through today without being too disturbed. We just want to, Graham, can we ask you right now, what what are you seeing today? How do people handle it? And you know, was it a realistic situation? It was extremely realistic. Um, the scenarios are set up in such a way that they mimic the kinds of situations that people can experience out in the field. They handled it extremely well. They've been through quite a few days of training already. They're already experienced. They know how to handle themselves in these sorts of situations, and they did really well. You were saying earlier, you said that the time that uh, we all went through was actually, well, I guess not that long compared to what some hostage situations around the world, but in terms of training, it was a long time, is that correct? That's right, yeah. Um, it's probably about the longest time that's available in the civilian world, if you like, for this sort of training. Um, we went four and a half hours today. Most training is maybe one or two hours. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Stay there. Get on. Which of the actions today um, is most likely if to? Well, what do people break on basically? Is it the interrogations or is it the uh, the deprivation? Uh, none of the above, really. Um, uh, we have a little saying: it's room 101. It's whatever their biggest fear is. That's what they break over. And you can be talking to someone and they can break down. You can be talking to somebody about something quite innocuous. Um, they're a long way away from home and they suddenly see a photograph of their child. So in these sorts of scenarios, we, we, we always have to keep a really close eye on people because the most innocuous thing can trigger a reaction. And that's where we've got to go in and make sure they're really OK. Look out! Your head down. My legs are shaking because I'm stressed. Sir. You're stressed? I've been in a stressful position. You're in a stress position. You sat on the f***ing grass. You're lying, aren't you? Yes. You are a liar. F***ing spam! My f***ing head spam! Why have you got GCHQ on your phone? Do you know your GCHQ are? Obviously you do, you've got on your phone. How did I do? Am I going to need some counselling after this, or do you think I'm going to be alright? I think you'll make a splendid aid worker. Get on board. Before we go, we just want to say a quick hello and goodbye with Mark, the CEO of War Child. He's a man who's made this happen today. Mark, tell me, are you pleased with, uh, with how today's gone? Yeah, I'm very pleased indeed. Uh, our, our crew learnt a, a lot of new skills. Um, some of them were coming back for this training for the second time. You can see how they developed those skills. And these are the skills that are going to keep them safe um, when, when things start to happen. Have you made it as realistic as possible? Have you pushed the people that have been here today that, that are with your charity? Very much so. I mean, um, people have been pushed a lot farther than they normally would have been pushed. They were in, in this situation for four and a half hours. As you know, going through stress positions, uh, uh, interrogations and so forth. Um, and it heightens their sense of se personal security awareness as well as how to work together in a team in any security situation. 
absolutely, and it's been an absolutely fantastic experience. I mean, tell us one last thing. How can people find out about more what you do? Um, how can they get involved even? What's the best thing to do? Well, there's several ways. I mean, we've got our website, www.warchild.org.uk, or you can look at warchildmusic.com. Um, and we're launching our appeal on the 1st of November with... Um, uh, uh, a big gig down at Brixton Academy. Um, so, yeah, there are loads of ways. Just keep an eye on the press.